have students who start work on a piece and the following week they come back and they've done absolutely wonderful stuff with it, they've learned so much of it, but then it tends to go downhill from then on. So they've made a really positive start and can probably play bits hands together, but then three or four weeks later, it's actually gone backwards. And that's partly because they've learned it too quickly. And so today I want to talk about the use of desirable difficulties to slow down the learning process in the first place so that the learning becomes stickier. Now one of the pieces that I find this happens with quite a bit is this gorgeous Echo Saves in G Major by Hassler. <laughs> beautiful, buoyant, life-affirming about this piece as it comes down. I think students love the hands coming together and just the general G major happiness and sunniness. But several weeks later, it's probably not going to sound like that because all of a sudden the learning will have all faded away from how to coordinate and maybe the, uh, the, the, the finger control has got a bit wayward and it, it really and the rhythm's maybe gone at the end. So this idea of making the learning harder, desirably difficult, is a really, really interesting one that is around a lot these days in education. Because if we think about easy learning, and I was looking at some definitions actually, easy means causing or involving little difficulty or discomfort uh, that requires uh, requiring or indicating little effort, thought or reflection. And really we don't want that if the learning is going to be significant, it's going to stick with them. So when we create conditions as teachers where the learning is appropriately difficult, we have to slow down that learning process because in the long term what this means is that it leads to a better memory of that learning for retrieval later on in the long term. So the learning in the first place, if it's easy, it's not always retrieved as the learning then progresses. And I think, um, I was going to just mention this book which is called Make It Stick, The Science of Successful Learning and um, it is uh, all about making learning sticky and they say short-term impediments that make for stronger learning have come to be called desirable difficulties and I think we have lots and lots of opportunities for creating desirable difficulties in our teaching and in our lessons. So one thing that you could do with a young student with this one um, uh, is to get them to count aloud. Now, Counting aloud is an absolutely prime candidate for a desirable difficult because it is hard. But what it does is it makes that learning so much stronger because they're having to go slower because they're having to count out aloud. And you do have to work with them to help them remember to keep counting aloud because otherwise the brain will just hijack the counting. So you might want them to go one and two and one and two and one enjoy what they're doing, understand that it's the, 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 enjoy the process of practicing, enjoy the process of getting it wrong, enjoy the process of it being hard, because it's that difficulty, if they master it, then, oh my, the learning makes such a difference. So counting aloud, for example, I was doing this with a, a, an adult student this morning, at the other end, we were looking at the Bach Saraband from party to number one, you know, the gorgeous one that goes like this. Just music to side eye. Um, and I was doing the same thing. I was asking him to count. He's just at the start of the learning process. And I was asking him to count aloud. So he was having to think, first of all, okay, it's one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and but of course it's not quite 
quite so easy is that because you've got demi semi quavers and semi quavers and then you've got the odd quaver everywhere so your brain gets gets really quite you know can struggle quite a bit the notes look easy but we make it slightly harder by introducing this desirable difficulty so always be on the lookout in your teaching for how you can make the learning stronger by making the, the, the learning just that little bit harder than it could otherwise be. And you'll find that that will change the learning outcomes of your students and they'll have a stronger retrieval system in their brain. I'm gonna be trying more desirable difficulties out this afternoon. I hope you all get uh, inspired to go and do that as well. Thanks for listening, bye for now.